So this is right now my third Call of Duty review, and I wanted to go all the way back and start with the first console released Call of Duty, Finest Hour, developed by Spark Unlimited and published by Activision. One of these days I will get to the original Call of Duty PC exclusive, but that will probably be way down the line. For right now, I want to primarily stick with the console release versions. My first experience with Call of Duty was with Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. So I've never really played this one, and on top of that, I've never even beaten Call of Duty 2 to begin with. I only started getting into this series once World at War was released, and I stopped playing after Modern Warfare 3. It's only just now got back into it when World War 2 came out. So I have been very on and off with the series. So I just want to make this a disclaimer right now, because I never really grew up with the 6th gen COD games. I do not have any sense of nostalgia when it comes to them and I know a lot of people do and who are big fans of the series do have that nostalgia feeling. So I just want you to take whatever I say about this game with that mindset because there are a lot of things that come with this game that I do not like. Now granted, had I played this game when it came out, I would probably be singing a different tune right now. Because even though I might be talking about how much I hate some of the mechanics in this game, had I had that sense of nostalgia, it probably wouldn't be that too big of a deal for me. I am willing to look past a lot of bullshit on games that I grew up playing as as a kid because since I was already so used to them as a kid, it doesn't really bother me now as an adult. However, I did not grow up with this game, so this game pisses me off a lot. There are three storylines that you play through in this game, the Soviets, the British, and the Americans. 12 missions in total to complete, which can make this game roughly around 8 hours to beat, depending on your skill level. Now, I want you to remember that this series of reviews I do is really to compare how these older games are in today's day and age, and how they still hold up. I do not review these games as if they, I were playing them in the early 2000s, because while this game might have been pretty good when it came out, this does not hold up for me in 2021. Now, it's not to say that I did not have some fun with this game, because I certainly did. The World War II setting is always great to play in, and the backstories these characters have and what they had to go through is very fascinating. The guns you are given to use is fun with classics such as the MP40, Car 98, M1 Garand, DPM, the Sten, grenades and rocket launchers and much more. I really like the storytelling of how these characters are going through combat in these battles. Listen, there is a good amount to like here, but when it comes to just straight down gameplay, I just cannot say that I had a good time playing this game because there were so many times that I was pulling my non-existent hair out of my head. The biggest thing I feel like that would made this game a lot better for me was the checkpoint system. That was ultimately what made me stop playing this game from time to time and do something else because I was just getting so frustrated that I would go through a whole level and die for some stupid reason or maybe it was just genuinely my fault, but then get taken all the way back to the start of that level and do it all over again and hope you don't die this time. If this was better, I would have had a much better time playing this game. Now the gameplay itself, I didn't mind that there was no running in the game because I truly felt like you didn't need to do it, the walking pace in this game was good enough for me. Using the guns in the game were fun to use, but when you were trying to aim in a fight for your life situation, it is just painful. The aim sensitivity is just all over the place. I would try to just nudge the thumbstick a bit, but if you do it too hard then I just end up overshooting everything and I end up shooting like I've never shot a gun before. The more you play this game, the more you get used to it sometimes, but it is such a pain that there will be times it will be why you die because you couldn't aim properly and then you are reminded of how bad it actually is. There are moments in the game where you will drive a tank and the best perspective for me was driving in the cockpit view because I felt like that's where you had the best control over everything. Some of these missions were pretty fun because it added some variety to the game. Another thing I had an issue with is that this game at first for me was very dark. And I don't know if it was just me trying to play this game on a flat screen and maybe these games just weren't built for this, but I had to go into my settings and crank up that brightness in order to be able to see anything. After I fixed I had a much better experience. The game also provides you an option to hit the enemy with a melee attack, but dear god it doesn't do jack shit. Not only that, but there are moments where I am trying to shoot people from a certain position and it doesn't do anything when I am clearly aiming at them. The health system in this game is very different compared to modern Call of Duty games as well, that it takes a health kit to heal you. You have this green bar on the side and using a health kit is honestly not that bad, I do not mind the system, I actually kind of like it. 
it takes away the comfort of just w waiting to heal automatically. But I also hate that if you accidentally hit the heal button twice, even though you are fully healed, it will still use that health pack. Why? You also have the ability to heal your squad mates by honestly just let them die. They can also get in the way a lot, so sometimes it's just their fault if they get in the way of my grenade. Graphics aren't bad for 2004 and the animations seem to be fine for me, so there's really nothing much to complain about this in this department. Guys, Call of Duty Finest Hour is a decent game, however the mechanics, the aiming, the gun gameplay is just a bit off to me. Um, there was a lot where I was just getting frustrated and just couldn't continue. However, I do believe if you do have the patience and Call of Duty is a franchise that you love to death, then obviously I think you will have some fun here no matter what. But coming from somebody who is just a, you know, Call of Duty casual, while I love the modern Call of Duty games right now, going all the way this far back to play the older games when mechanics just weren't fine-tuned just yet, Damn, is it tough to get through this game for a person like me. Now remember, take that as you will, but if you guys love Finest Hour, then hey, more power to you. This is just how I felt about the game. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to have my buddy, Zach Lewis. He's a longtime Call of Duty fan, unlike myself, where he has played pretty much the whole franchise up until this point. And he's going to play some levels real quick, and we're going to get his reaction as to how he feels, how this game is aged. So we're gonna get his perspective on this. You ready? Let's do it. All right. I really thought he ate that shit for a second. Oh shit. Free, so free. Am I not hitting this guy? Oh, there we go. This one's for you, Pedro. Oh, what? <laughs> Laser, bro. Uh, <laughs> the sensitivity could be better. <laughs> that only changes the left to right. Really, no middle ground there, huh? Okay, all right, we're gonna we're gonna put that back where it was. I have health in this game. Yeah, doesn't heal back automatically. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, there's no sprint. Nope, there's no sprint. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask if I can knife people. <laughs> I am not where I should be. Wait, like, stand up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> wow! The whole fucking German army's over there. I got the flanks, man. This flashing is obnoxious. I can't even see where they are when I'm shooting. Oh, yeah, the flare. Yeah. Really can't shoot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't shoot through the barbed wire. Knocked up. Whoa! <laughs> Um, dated. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm gonna be in the Jeep. I hate these missions. These are the worst missions ever. Exactly. <laughs> Someone's getting fucking murked, bro. Yep. Now, now my ass is about to be in the fucking, uh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Laser. One. <laughs> <laughs> It was a warning shot. I gave him. A, you gotta give him a warning shot first. Oh, that. Guy, who are they? Fucking Tuscan Raiders? I can take. You're gonna want to get in the car, man. Where's the car? Where's the car? What the fuck? I thought he. I really thought he drove away. <laughs> oh dear Jesus! Dog water, so free. I mean, I'm giving it the good old college try. Alright, that fucking went to the fucking never realm. <laughs> there, which ones? Jesus. Oh no, what? I, a bird fucking breathes on me, I'm dead. Oh boy. Check was pretty good, not that bad. Get the fuck out of my face! No! 
Oh my god, bro. Yeah, we'll do the next Was that the end? No. Well, you died, so. So, pause it real quick. I'm shooting this guy in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Checkpoints are bad. I see. I hate those types of missions where I'm like stuck. Yeah. Like those like arcade shooter style yeah. things, you know? For sure. I'll stay here all day, man. That guy's dying. Okay. Who's shooting? You? You're not even looking at me. It's a good. Then shoot this guy! Like, he's fucking there looking at him! That was the best shot you He fucking drop shotted me?! He fucking beat the shit out of me! This guy got me. Yo, yo, wait, hang on. <laughs> yo, he's in a rocky. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I'm just trying to fuck the fuck up. There's this fucking bozo at up here. Step into the gulag. What killed you? Oh, the <laughs> Yo, same thing happened to me. <laughs> nope. Yeah, right, we're gonna call it. <laughs> I, it's not the finest hour. It's not. It's not the <laughs> finest hour. Um, it's dated. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the checkpoint system <laughs> definitely needed some fine tuning. The, uh, how about the handling, the controls, the gunplay? It's a little clunky, but I was getting the job done. Yeah. You know. When you have skill, you got skill. What would you give it? I don't give ratings for my reviews, but what would you give a rating just like first hand real quick oh. in terms of what you've played so far? See, it's so tough. Yeah. Do, am I rating it for its time or like now? You both. Oh, so three years. Okay, so this is like a six. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a six when it came out. Yeah. Now it's obviously like a two. You really think a two out of ten? Now? But yeah. that's so unfair. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. For sure. Definitely. I, I want to get this poured into a battle royal. <laughs> <laughs> I want Call of Duty Finest Hour Warzone. <laughs> that would be something, bro. That's what I want.